in a desktop. I mean, I can, honestly, like this almost made me cry as well. I was a eh, dancing for Africa. <laughs> Go shorty, it's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. We gon' sip a cardi like it's your birthday. And you know we don't give up, cause that's your birthday. You can find me in the club, bottle full of bug. Mama, I got what you need if you need to fill the bars. I'm in the having sex, I ain't in the making love. So come give me a hug if you're in the getting rough. You can find me in the club, bottle full of bug. Mama, I got what you need if you need to fill the bars. I'm in the having sex, I ain't in the making love. So come give me a hug if you're in the getting rough. When I'm up out front, you see the bitch, no kill. Happy birthday. To me, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to me. It's my birthday, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I feel really, really excited about this birthday. This is the first birthday that I've spent in Nigeria in about five years i think maybe four um it's just been really nice to be with my family my mom has been so excited about my birthday for some reason it's really really strange <laughs> like she's been counting down to it like you would think it was her birthday i just woke up it is eight o'clock i really wanted to take my time this morning and just chill i have so many plans well, actually, no, that's a lie. I have some things I want to get done today, but I really just wanted to relax this year. I feel like a lot of my birthdays, I'm like on the go, 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 go. And I don't mind that, but this year, I really didn't want to rush to do anything. I just wanted to take my time to do everything today. So the plan for today really is just to go get my nails done. I was meant to have done this a couple of days ago, but it didn't work out. I still have my old set from Christmas. And I wanted to get some really elaborate nail art done. We're gonna see how it goes. I don't even have an appointment. That is for 10. Um, and then I have a massage booked at one, but I think I might push that to about two because I also wanna try, uh oh, I also wanna try and get my um, lashes done. I mean, birthday things. <laughs> then I have lunch plans. I'm going to go to this place called Tai Tai that my friend has been talking about literally since I got here. You have to go to Tai Tai, you have to go to Tai Tai. So we're gonna do that. We're going to do like a late lunch, early dinner. And then I'm going to have drinks at Mako with a bunch of my girlfriends this evening. So really relaxed, really chill. Oh, I forgot to mention my mom wanted to do brunch with the family. That hasn't been confirmed to be honest. So that might actually end up being tomorrow. Which is fine because um, I don't have anything going on tomorrow. I took tomorrow off work as well. I haven't even talked to you guys about my hair. So I did this last night actually. It ended up being an all day affair. Which considering how big my braids are is a bit of a joke. Like this should have taken four hours max. I tried to call but they were not answering. Their online system showed that they were fully booked. But when I went in, luckily, I was able to meet the owner and she was just really, really sweet. I explained to her my situation and that I had just taken out goddess braids because they were too heavy and I really just, I'm not even sure if I want to do it again. I wanted to use human hair, blah, 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 blah. Turns out they had human braiding hair in the salon. So, um, and she also had this really lightweight braiding hair. So she showed it to me. I had also brought my expressions because I had left over from my last install. And I could feel both and the braiding hair that I bought from her felt a lot lighter. So I ended up using three packs of the braiding hair, one pack of the human hair. I don't know that the braiding service was worth it, to be very honest, because, um, in all honesty, I, I can't really judge because I didn't have an appointment. So I spent a lot of time waiting and I only had one person doing my hair for the majority of the time and then for like the last hour loads of people kind of helped to finish off the hair. I do think that if I had a real appointment I would have had maybe like two or three people assigned to me from the beginning and it would have gone a lot faster and they wouldn't have been leaving me waiting a bit so I can't really give 
it's not a fair representation but i will say the braiders there seemed a lot more conscious so like they were counting my locks to go into each braid and because i was really particular about it not being heavy they kept asking like throughout the install you know is it does it feel heavy is it okay is it okay and then throughout the install like literally every single braid should be like is it tight is it tight and it's really weird because it didn't feel tight when she was braiding it <laughs> and now that it's like done so it does feel quite tight but i will say um next time i do my braids i'm going to try my friend's braider my friend has a braider that she swears literally like you will feel no tension and she has locks as well i'm just going to show you the size of the braids the braids are very big compared to the last time and they feel so much lighter. like i could even do this the last time the last time they were so heavy um i really really like the look of braids i just think it's nice to be able to switch it up if i had to be really honest i prefer the look of my braids the first time because i think that she did a better job of disguising the fact that i had micro locks i think that if you look really carefully at my braids from the back especially they just look a bit bulky where my locks are i don't really know like what the way best way to do this is because obviously the last time like the way she braided my hair you would not be able to tell i had locks which i loved but then they were too heavy so i don't know if it's a case of like just telling the first of all using a different kind of braiding hair i think would help because this this the hair that i ended up using felt a lot more lightweight because in terms of the amount of braiding hair they both use three packs if we're going to like be pedantic about it but the three packs of the hair i ended up using felt a lot light lighter to me than the three packs of the expression so we can end that debate <laughs> The second debate was obviously the curly hair because for my first install I used two packs of their synthetic curly hair and then for this install I only used one pack of my human hair. I say all that to say that I'm happy I braided my hair. It's nice to have a second sort of experience. I think the next time I come to Nigeria, God willing, I'm going to use my friend's braider because I want to see if she's really like as pain free as my friend swears by. And I think again, just similarly, I'm going to look for the lightest possible weight hair but this is what my braids look like they're a lot longer i think than my first install but a lot lighter you know like i couldn't even do this the last time it was, i was under so much like pain i do think that these will feel a lot better by like saturday sunday yeah. for now they do feel a bit tight anyway i have some unboxings so i mentioned to you guys a couple or well, actually in my last week's vlog that i needed some more t-shirts and basics is a brand that i've shopped from before last time i was in nigeria in april they do athleisure gym wear clothes and they had some t-shirts that were literally cheaper than the t-shirts i order from amazon so i only ordered one because i wanted to make sure i liked the quality first so this is their handle basics legos i think i'm still gonna go to the gym today everyone's been cussing me like why do you want to go to the gym on your birthday but honestly i like going to the gym so I'm going to get ready, even if I just do like a quick cardio session, I think I'm going to do that. But yeah, this was my concern about the t-shirt. It looks like a cropped tee on everyone that was wearing it. And it's definitely a cropped tee. I don't really like cropped tees, but my leggings are always really high waist. So I thought I wanted to try it on and see if I could like finagle it. But we're going to try this on. Um, this was 22,000 Naira, which worked out to be about... I think 13 pounds when I converted it yesterday, so roughly about $15. And the fabric feels very different to my Amazon ones. This actually feels more like Skims fabric, funnily enough. We'll try it out. If I like it, I'll get it in all the colors. Um, they had it in white and olive green, and I can't remember what the last color was. I know I came in four colors. So I wanted to get black because I don't have any black short sleeve tops and We'll figure that out. We'll see how we get on with that. And then from the Conga, you guys know that I've been um, trying to improve my bedroom. For everyone new here, I have not moved back to Nigeria. I'm just here on an extended holiday, seeing my family, working remotely while I'm here. Um, when I first got here, I painted the walls. You guys would have seen I picked up some furniture from the Lecky Arts and Crafts Market. I'm also talking to some carpenters about building a new bed potentially bedside tables i haven't figured out which bedside tables i want i definitely know the bed i want so i'm just getting some quotes on that 
the guy that built my desk at the Lucky Arts and Crafts Market, I really like the quality of his work. So I've asked him how much he would charge for my bed. And boy, oh boy. <laughs> Why did I start telling you guys about that? Yeah, because I got something else from my room from Tonga. Um, every time I'm doing my makeup, I always have to hold like a mirror to my face because I don't like an eyeshadow palette on my face to do my eyeshadow and stuff because I don't have a standing mirror that I can just bring closer to me. Like usually when I'm here, I'm never here for long enough to try to improve my room. And then every time I come, it's like little things like this that just make being here inconvenient, especially when you're here for a while. Like um, not being able to have a proper like setup where you can do your makeup, like things like that just become really annoying after a while. Okay, it is the right mirror. This is like the really cheap mirror from Ikea that everyone has had at some point in time. That's why it's like five pounds at Ikea, but it was 15,000 Naira here, which honestly, I think is not that bad. 15,000 Naira, I'll put up conversions. You guys seem to find those useful, but 15,000 Naira is basically 10 pounds. And if I'm not mistaken, I would be really surprised if this mirror is still five pounds from Ikea. Tonga is kind of like our Amazon, nowhere near as good, like I don't want to offend anybody. We also have Jumia, there's also the same thing as Conga, and then there's something else called Gigi that wasn't really, I don't remember that being as big of a thing when I used to live here, but Gigi puts you in contact with people who are literally in the market. So why I didn't like Gigi, I tried to use Gigi a couple times. But Gigi's not seamless. Like Gigi, you have to speak to the seller directly. You guys have been negotiating, going back and forth. It's just not seamless. I like Conga because it's literally, this is what I want. Check out, deliver to me, and you can pay on delivery. I don't know if that's how it works on Jumia or Gigi, but I don't like the whole like if you want to buy something, contact the seller. You guys, like I don't, I don't want to have to deal with all of that. So you could possibly have more things to choose from on Gigi, but I just don't like to shop like that. bit goes into here this is like the most basic thing i've ever put together in my life so the fact that i'm so happy to show it to you is just so funny <laughs> i don't know what i want to do you guys do i want to get ready for the gym or do i want to just get dressed and head to lucky for all of my appointments oh, i think i'm gonna go in the shower and get ready because i am thinking that like my head does feel a little bit sensitive anyway guys i'm gonna jump in the shower and decide what i want to do and i'll let you oh my god my apple watch is dead i forgot to charge it great i guess that's a sign that i can't go to the gym <laughs> Look at this. Just look. 
to put in the clip of the surprise. My mom literally planned a surprise brunch with the saxophonist. I don't even know what to say. This is just. And buy your champagne. Yes, please. Oh, yes, 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 yes. oh, wait, hold on, let me do some of the cards. Happy. Okay. Yes, baby. 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 Not even been able to update you properly today has just been go 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 i will fill you in on the surprise that my mom planned later but right now i'm at the nails place i'm at nails inc i'm going to get these redone i'm also getting a pedicure I'm having a really great birthday so far so we'll catch up later <laughs> And then at the stopping point, the we are still there. Okay, let me see. If I'm not on all my things, on all my things. No, I'll do it in lecture. Okay, let me see. It's my birthday, so. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, when? Today? Today? Tomorrow? Today. Today's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Thanks. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. brunch with my family shortly after I finished vlogging I started getting phone calls from my mom and she was just saying oh come downstairs let's pray <laughs> that's what she said and then I said okay cool I'm coming and then while I was coming downstairs she said oh no freshen up and that kind of made me think that something was going on because normally like I can just go downstairs in my pajamas so I had messaged my friend Uju because I was just messaging her like just in general and I was telling her like my mom's being really weird she's telling me to come downstairs and freshen up and then Uju responded and said oh what's the big deal let's put on lip gloss and come and pray so I don't know if you guys are following the story but basically I didn't tell Uju that my mom said to come and pray so from that moment I knew something was happening but I'm not going to lie to you I genuinely thought that you know my mom had called a pastor and we were just going to pray you know that's it so I was quickly showering and while I was in the shower I could hear people banging on my door so obviously I knew that like people were waiting downstairs so I was quickly showering if you guys look at the video well you'll see that I was wearing two different slippers on my legs like I hadn't even I just showered I didn't put on any lotion no body cream literally just put on the first dress that didn't need to be ironed and came downstairs when I came downstairs, I didn't see anybody. I just saw the living room, like no one was there. And it was really, really quiet. So I knew something was happening. And then I just hear this saxophone. Everyone's like surprised. And I don't think I even like processed what was happening. I saw this person with like a camera. I think that was the first person I saw. Then I saw my brother. Then I saw my mom. I saw so many of my friends were there every like so many people were in the living room and i just could not even really process what was happening it took me maybe like a minute to really understand what was happening and i just started crying like i can't believe my mom 
went through all of this effort to organize this like I didn't even know she had all of my friends numbers like I'm like well, who gave you this person's number and the funny thing about it is even Monday he's my mom's driver literally yesterday I had told him like come we're going to go to the gym this morning and then after I asked him and he said that my mom had gone as far as telling him that if I call him about the gym that he should tell me that he can't come so this whole thing has been elaborately planned yesterday my friend Yasmin was trying to get me to go to brunch with her first thing in the morning and I was telling her like why do we need to go first thing in the morning like I want to go to the gym like I'll meet up with you later in the day and now that I think about it I should have realized that that was suspicious because Yasmin is not an early morning person so for her to want to meet me at 8 o'clock in the morning it did like I, I tell you now that I think about it in hindsight I feel like there were so many reasons why I should have put two and two together but in the moment I was just telling everyone like I just want to do what I usually do in the morning which is get ready go to the gym I'll see you guys in the evening like it's not a milestone birthday I didn't think it needed to be this thing where we do a huge thing but you know it's just it's, it's honestly I'm very 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 touched that every anybody even cared to do all of this like I haven't had a birthday like this in a very very long time I haven't even had a birthday with my family in Nigeria in a very long time so even just being here I'm honestly just very very touched so the whole morning I was just in shock crying my friends were crying my mom was crying <laughs> I was just very very in shock so my whole morning literally got turned upside down so originally I was meant to go to a massage but I decided to cancel that so I just ended up doing my nails I went to Nails Inc which was honestly slowly becoming my favorite beauty place in Lagos the girl that did my nails today was amazing her name is Melody so highly recommend her she just looked at the photo and like van with it she did such a good job I, I even think it came out better than my inspiration photo to be honest um, and she was really really fast which was the most important thing for me <laughs> the last set I did took a very long time so um, yeah she was really fast and the girl that did my pedicure today was also really good her name was Taiwo very very meticulous like she like my feet she had my feet looking really good so highly recommend nails Inc um, I think I linked them the last time but I'll link them again really really nice place and a couple of you have responded to have told me on Instagram that you've actually gone to check it out I, I really like it there so I think that will end up being like my nail place especially now I found a nail tech that I would recommend like I highly recommend Melody um, what else can I say yeah honestly I'm just very much in shock I'm going to try and do my eyelashes I don't have an appointment but I'm going to try so we're going to go there and if they don't answer me I'm just going to come home and relax and then I'm going out for lunch at or a late lunch at 5 and then I'm meeting my friends for drinks at 8 so those are the only plans I had made for today it was just meant to be go to the gym go to massage <laughs> maybe do my nails but since like this is like turning into like you know a completely different thing I'm very grateful I'm not complaining it's just very interesting when you try like I was even saying to myself this morning I haven't even ordered a cake I haven't done anything so the fact that all of this has been done and I haven't had to do anything like I'm honestly just very grateful even when I watch the video of me crying like I need to start crying like it's just it's very very nice to be with your family and your friends honestly I'm very grateful so that's what's happening with the birthday the birthday celebration it's already 1:30, and technically eyelashes take like an hour and a half so yeah it's reasonable if if they can see me immediately i should be able to come back home and change in time but if it's going to be a thing i'll just leave it and come back and do my eyelashes another day i'm actually going to be in lucky tomorrow so now i'm thinking does it make sense to try to do my lashes today let's go and try why not we'll try and if it doesn't work out then we'll leave it so yeah I'll check in with you guys later. I have like a bunch of phone calls to return, but I'll check in with you guys later. All right, guys, I am back home. I don't know if I showed you guys, but my mom actually got me two cakes. <laughs> so I went from thinking I wasn't gonna have any to having two. She got me this massive Chanel one. I think it's really, really funny. <laughs> I was like, why did you get me? She's like, she goes, because you like Chanel. I'm like, period. <laughs> So um, I'm going to cut this cake, I'm going to leave this cake for my home and then the other cake 
is going to be for when I go out later. So look at it, it's so huge. Like my mom, honestly, she's just the best. Look at that. So we're gonna cut it. Then go, go, go. Oh, I didn't even see this part. She's so adorable. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? I have so many phone calls to return, so we're gonna do this really quickly. Oh, thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. I cannot complain. Happy New Year. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. I just calling to check for you. I'm hoping you're having the best day. Oh, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Logan Street, then turn right onto Malade Akoya Thomas Street. Party no day stop. You know that song, guys. Dun, 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 like it's nothing. That's how I feel. <laughs> I just got back from having lunch with one of my friends. We went to this place called Orchid House. It was a Thai restaurant in VI. We're supposed to go to Thai Thai, but they were having a private party. So this is what I ended up wearing. It was a very like last minute thing where I hadn't even really thought about what I was going to wear. You know what? Let me actually start this vlog when I'm dressed. Still my birthday. <laughs> I am happy. Ooh, phone's been going off all day, you guys. Honestly, this might be one of my favorite birthdays. I know, I know. Like, it's not even over, but I feel like this might be one of my favorite birthdays. Um, since I've seen you last, I've just been honestly on the phone, just like happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday all day, which I love. My friend Kiki sent me this amazing gift which again was another surprise from Rum and Passion. This is a, how can I describe it? Like a confectionery brand here in Lagos. Very, very, very popular. She sent me a dozen cupcakes as well as this insane gift hamper. There's champagne in here. There's a cocktail in here. There's um, shortbread, popcorn. There's chocolate and it says, Happy birthday, Iffy, on it. Like, literally everything is so amazing. Like, honestly, like, this almost made me cry as well. Happy birthday with my name on it again. And then there's even a candle in here. This smells incredible. Fig and warm cinnamon. It smells like Christmas. Oh, my God. Like, Kiki, you already know what it is. I've already spoken to you in real life. But thank you, honestly. Everyone's been so amazing to me honestly i'm just i feel so blessed i also went to have lunch with a friend which was amazing um honestly i have so many like amazing friends here in lagos i'm just so 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 grateful i'm just going to touch up my makeup really quickly i already did my makeup before i went out to dinner because i was thinking smart <laughs> well to lunch because i just wanted to come back and throw on my dress which is what i've done you guys would have seen this dress in last week's vlog let me put it down so you can see the whole outfit this is literally what i'm wearing guys this dress is from imad adiso love 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 i'm determined to get a photo the debate right now is which bag because this bag goes a lot better with my shoes i'm wearing those primark shoes which honestly are my most comfortable heels between these and the Bottegas but these are slightly more comfortable than the Bottegas and I just want to be comfortable this bag goes better with the shoes and the dress but this bag fits more stuff you know I can't even do that to myself <laughs> I'm going to go with this bag um I think I might end up taking a bigger bag actually do I even need a bigger bag sometimes I just think I like to talk about taking big bags oh I did want to potentially change my earrings though hold on let me check who messaged me I wish you long life, great health, peace of mind, happiness, joy, and abundance in all your needs. Amen. Yeah. Ah. I had my. We're gonna have to make do with 
flash. It's nice. Yeah, and then I, I work nine to five.
knows what he's doing. He's being a Alright, so once you're in the re- elevator, can we just sing an upper birthday song for us? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. You guys, ugh, I feel so rough right now. I don't even know what this is. I've been holding this since my house. Um, is this a trash can? There's a trash can. I cannot see a trash can. Um, I came to Barzahi to get a massage. I told you guys yesterday that I was going to, I was meant to do this yesterday, um, but I rescheduled because I rescheduled. <laughs> I can't even talk today. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy I actually booked it today because today I can actually rest. Yesterday I would have been on the go. So I, sh- I didn't bring my camera, so I apologize for the quality, but I'm wearing this Boo I actually picked this up from the Lucky Arts and Crafts Market. I don't think I ever told you guys about this. So comfortable for days like this. So yeah, I'm just gonna change into my robe and I'll record wherever I can. Um, but yeah, I booked a 90 minutes Indonesian massage. And when I tell you, I am so grateful to my future self for doing this because I have not been this hungover in a very long time. of someone who has had over 24 hours to recover <laughs> hi it is the 12th of january no it is the 13th is it what in the world it is the 13th oh my god it is the 13th so it is officially two days after my birthday i haven't had time to talk to you guys like since my actual birthday i'm actually getting ready to go to the beach so i'm going to try and I had I bought this curling mousse from Ebano last week. I think I showed it to you guys. I'm going to see if I can curl up my curly bits because my curly bits are starting to look a little, I don't know how to describe it, but not like curly bits. They're looking a little bit crazy. I'm gonna run some mousse through them and see, yeah, this is, this, is, this is the effect we want. So this is the first time I've actually done anything to my braids since I did them and we're gonna see if I can get it to look a little less matted and crazy and more like a actual hairstyle. So let me get So I wanna tell talk to you guys about my birthday really quickly. Could you just come in to get me? We're going to the beach today. Um where the boat is leaving from Mako. And Uju said that she was coming to get me at twelve. It is eleven fifty two. Knowing Uju, she will not be here at twelve, so I'm not actually rushing rushing. But yeah, let me fill you in. I think what I'm going to do is just put the mace all over my braids and the curling hair, because otherwise it'll get a bit complicated. But yeah, let me fill you guys in. So obviously you would have seen on my birthday, we started off the night at Mako. It was honestly just meant to be like drinks with my friends. Like I said, I hadn't really planned this birthday. I was telling my friend leading up to the birthday, like I just have like decision fatigue. I feel like there's 
like there's just too much to do or too many choices and like when that happens I almost just freeze so that's kind of what happened with my birthday I was actually thinking about going to Ghana um, up until literally the day before my birthday I had already reached out to my friends in Ghana I already got recommendations on where to go originally I wanted to go with my friends but my friends couldn't make it it was like a super last minute thing so I was thinking about going on my own and after a while I was like why would I isolate myself like that? I haven't had a birthday back home literally in at least five years. Why would I finally be able to spend my birthday with my family and go away? So I decided not to go to Ghana. Obviously, the plan, like I told you guys on the morning of my birthday, was just to see how the day went. I didn't have any real plans other than like have a massage during the day, go to Mako in the evening. Obviously, the surprise ended up happening insane um that kind of just set the tone for the whole day <sighs> it was just amazing so many like amazing connections honestly like not living here really like some of my best friends and when i say best friends like i have really close friends in london don't get me wrong but like my friends that have known me since i was a child <laughs> like most of them are here so it's just been amazing to be able to have a birthday with like Friends that have known me since I was a teenager, even before I was a teenager, you know, like it's it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. And um, the day was amazing. Mako, honestly, on Thursdays, they play hip hop and R&B, which you guys already know is like literally my one of my, it's up there, it's up there. Afrobeat is definitely in that genre, as is Neo Soul, but I love myself some hip hop and R&B. It was really chill, I'm not gonna lie. Like after a while, I was kind of like, eh. Where are we going to go from here? Because nothing really seems to be happening. <laughs> and then one of my friends from uni who like literally I did not even know was around. Like we weren't even in the same year, but like I've always known him and he's always been really cool. So he was at Mako. When he found out it was my birthday, he was like, oh yeah, yeah, this is too quiet. This is too quiet for a birthday. He ended up buying rounds of shots. Like I think he bought two bottles of Casamigos and a bottle of champagne. And up until that point, I had already had a couple shots, but you know, girls night, it's usually a bit more chill. We had a couple cocktails, a couple shots, but when he came, he was like, nope, nope, nope. This is not how we're doing it for your birthday. And then another one of my friends came and both of them, like, I feel like they literally were just trying to see how fast they, how they could get me drunk. Like, that's what it felt like. <laughs> Cause all of a sudden that Say Our song by Trey Songs kept coming on, like back to back. At least that's what it felt like. And every time that song would come on, like shots were being passed to me from different directions. I was editing the vlog today. I really hope I was able to like reflect how the night went. I had all my friends send me their clips. So I literally have like so many of the same moments, but from different angles. So I tried to put them all together so you could get a vibe of what the night was like. Anytime that you see a clip that's filmed this way, like landscape, just know it was me recording because I was remembering to vlog. But most of my friends obviously would record for their phones and like social media. So I tried to put all the vertical videos together. And um, yeah, I think I did a good job. Honestly, it was one of my favorite birthdays. Like I said in the video, it was so much, so much, so much fun. So Mako ended up being a blur. And then for Mako, I was like, yeah, I want to go out. I want to dance. Because Mako's not really like a club. It's it's a chill lounge. Um, so I wanted to go like, I wanted to go dancing. And so I don't even know like whose idea Kova was, to be honest. At some point I was hearing La Vella, which I really wanted to go to because La Vella is actually the club that I've had the most fun since I've been here on this trip. But anyway, the decision was to go to Kova. Some friends who were at Mako had a table, so it just worked out that way. We ended up going to Kova. Kova is on top of Mega Plaza, for those of you guys that live here. Um, I have not been to Kova since before I moved. <laughs> Literally, I, I forgot Kova even existed. So it was so nice to go there. And my friends arranged for them to put my name on the screen. And there's a clip of literally the DJ going, oh, she can dance, she can dance. Like, I was just like, what is happening? I felt like I was a movie star, honestly. Just again, at Kova, more shots. <laughs> it was a mess. But I think by by the time Kova had like sunk in, like my friends were like, okay, yeah, maybe we need to slow down so I don't pass out. Um, so at Kova, I was honestly doing like more water because at that point I was already drunk. Honestly, I feel like I had at least 10 shots of tequila. At least, like I... I wouldn't be surprised if it was 
I don't know, I feel like it was at least 10 shots. Or I'll, I'll leave it at that. So at Kova, it was honestly just like the excitement and water. That was my vibe. And just the dancing. Honestly, like I danced so much. Like there's so many clips of me like over dancing that I literally could not even put it in the vlog because you guys will actually be like, what the hell? Like I was eh, dancing for Africa. <laughs> I had such a good time. The DJ was great. It was honestly a quiet night. I think past Desi December, like I think I've mentioned this in a vlog or before, but after like the Christmas rush, which honestly ends in like the first week of January, things do tend to slow down in Lagos because people have been out. Like Desi December, you guys, I didn't even do Desi December well. My cousin who's around now is doing Desi December. <laughs> she is out every night, like till 6 a.m. Like that is how people usually go out in Desi December. I had like a week of that and then I was tired. But yeah, honestly, Lagos is a bit quiet right now to go out out. So I was really surprised that there was actually a vibe at Kova. Like there was a good amount of people. It wasn't packed, which I loved. It didn't smell like cigarette smoke, which is a problem with a lot of clubs in Lagos. Like it was chill, you know what I mean? Like it was a good vibe. I had the best time. Like literally one of my best nights out in forever. I cannot remember the last time I went clubbing and had fun like as much as I had. Maybe Lavella. Lavella was fun, but Lavella was really short. I don't only remember being in the villa for about an hour. But yeah, this night just felt, obviously it was my birthday, which made it even more special, but it just it was just a great night. Um, I don't know what my phone is doing. This is definitely improving my hair. Can you imagine? Like it looks so much nice. I wish I had done this on my birthday. Cause when I was looking at some of the clips, I felt like my hair looked a bit flat, but Anyway, <laughs> that was my actual birthday. The next day I had rescheduled my massage, which was meant to be on my actual birthday. I rescheduled it to the day after. Praise be to God. Like that's honestly one of the smartest things I feel like I did because first of all, that gave me an incentive to get out of bed. I woke up at 12 and my appointment, my appointment was meant to be at one. So that gave me an incentive to actually leave the house. And honestly, I think when you are hungover, there's no better feeling than having someone give you a massage. <laughs> like, that is a little life hack for anyone who is curious. It was amazing. I had a 90-minute Indonesian massage. And when I tell you, oh, the woman that did my massage, she was like a lady. She was literally an Indonesian lady. So it was so amazing. She was like standing on the table, cracking my neck, cracking my back. Like... She just really got in there. The last few massages I've had, look at look at this human hair that I paid 60K for on the floor. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you, I can only laugh. Um, she literally got on the table, got on my back. Um, the pressure was amazing. The length was amazing. Sometimes I feel like 60 minutes is over really quickly. 90 minutes felt like the sweet spot. So I think that's what I'm gonna try to do moving forward. She did comment that my skin on my back was dry, which I'm not surprised from. I mean, I've been in London, you know, the weather is just so dry. So she said that she thinks that I should get, or she recommended rather, a hammam body scrub, which I haven't had in years, to be fair. So I'm going to book that in. We'll see if I do end up doing it. Obviously I'll take you on the vlog, even though there's not much I can show you because the hammam scrub is, in case you don't know what that is, they, they literally like you're butt naked in the shower and someone's scrubbing your body. It's a bit intrusive. I'm not gonna lie. The last time I got it done, I felt very uncomfortable. Like they scrub you. Like you cannot care about being naked in front of someone doing the hammam scrub, but it's nice. <laughs> it's a little awkward, but it's nice. Um, and so I did that. And then I also went to this, I also went to Maple. So Maple's a restaurant that I told you in last week's vlog that I had my worst experience. And I shared it on social media. Even my friend that I went with was saying as well, but so many people on social media responded saying that, you know, when they went to Maple, it wasn't like that. If you guys didn't watch last week's vlog, the thing I was complaining about was that we had to wait for like two hours for our food. When the food came, it wasn't good. It was just overall a very like frustrating experience. But everyone was like, no, you know, um, Maple is usually really good. Maple is consistent. You must have just had a really like unlucky experience. So I was already unlucky. I had two hours to kill between my appointment, between my massage and my eyelash appointment. So I was like, hey, you know what? Let's go to Maple. Because honestly, I really wanted a burger. And someone had recommended that they had really good burgers. 
which made sense to me because the people that own Maple also own the Smith, which is a place that I've spoken about on this vlog as well. They have incredible burgers. So I decided to go try it again. And lo and behold, I had the best time. <laughs> My food came out in like 15 minutes. I kid you not, maybe even 10. It was so fast. I got their hot and spicy burger, chicken burger. That might not be the right name, but it was like, described as being spicy and sweet. So if you see the menu, you'll know what it's called. That burger hit the spot, okay? Like, ugh, being hungover and having a burger is probably like a rite of passage at this point, but it was so good. It wasn't spicy at all. So if anything, I would say that needs to be changed. I was expecting it to be like spicy, but it was so good, so tender. The bread was good. Honestly, I couldn't even finish it and that still annoys me. It was such a good burger. The fries were hot freshly fried like none of that like you know sitting on the shelf fries <laughs> um i also got a boba iced tea it was just really really nice a really really good lunch like 10 out of 10 i can't fault it there's literally nothing i can say the service was on point i didn't have to wait for a table it wasn't busy so i don't know i really don't know what happened that first time i went but yeah i say all that to say i think what i'm learning on this trip is you can't really judge something from doing it once. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm learning. Same thing with my hair, same thing with my lashes. You kind of need to try something a couple times before you know for sure if it's for you or not for you. And then after that, I went to get my lashes done. I went to the same place I went the last time. Two of my friends who actually go to that lash place were at my surprise birthday brunch. And when I told them my lashes only lasted a week, both of them were like, yeah, you did something wrong because <laughs> they both go there religiously. So it turns out that the way I was washing my face with my lashes is not the right way. I mean, I was actually going like this on my lashes, so <laughs> I'm not used to these things, guys, please. So my friend was like, you can't be serious. <laughs> like, you know, so they told me, you know, the right way to wash your face, like don't get your eyes wet, you know, wash your face in the sink, all these like extra annoying things that you need to do to protect your investment. It's fine, I'm gonna give it a go because I wanted to have my lashes and my nails and my hair done for my birthday, you know? So I decided to try it again and here we are. I like them. I actually think I like this set better than the first set. Another woman did them this time. I just feel like they look more natural this time. I don't know, sometimes I feel like I'm just contradicting myself but I do like them. I like them. We'll just see how long they last. They're soft. They don't irritate my eyes. I'm going to brush them because she also showed me the correct way to brush them because apparently I was also doing that wrong. I'm going to turn my head upside down. I'm just trying to scrunch the curls because it was starting to look more wavy than curly, which was not really the look I wanted. She did say that I could just spritz it with conditioner, but I didn't buy conditioner and I also don't have a spray bottle. And I also paid for this mousse, so we're gonna use what I paid for. I actually want to put some oil on my scalp. So yeah, this is all the hair that came out <laughs> just from that one time, bit of a joke. <sighs> so yeah, I think I mentioned already, but in case I didn't, we're going to the beach. Honestly, I couldn't really find an outfit that I liked today and I'm not really feeling my outfit if I'm very honest I'm just wearing my blue I'll show you guys but it was kind of like the best I could do I tried so many I tried all of my swimwear all of my shorts all the combinations and this is what I felt the most comfortable in and honestly I don't think I'm going to swim or anything I think I'm just going to lay by the beach and read that's honestly what I want to do, but we're going to see. I've never been to a Mako beach event, and I don't know what they're like. We're going to Ilasha Beach. I honestly have not been to the beach like Ilasha in such a long time, so I don't even remember. But I think it's like a 20, 30-minute boat ride at max from Lagos Island. When you go to the beach in Lagos, like at least to Ilasha, it tends to be like an all-day event. So the boat's supposed to be leaving from Mako at 1, but I am looking forward to it. That's the one thing I was saying. I wanted to do before I go back was to have a proper beach day. I have another group of friends that were talking about potentially going to the beach 
but I haven't followed up with them. But yeah, my braids feel great, by the way. I can put them in a bun, like they're so much more comfortable. And it's just nice to have a different hairstyle, honestly. Like I didn't really get to enjoy my braids the last time because they were just too heavy. These ones started to feel fine by, even yesterday, because when I got my massage, she actually massaged my scalp and it felt fine. Like it didn't feel tender or anything. If anything, I wish them scalp massage was longer. <laughs> I'm having the best time in Lagos. Again, for everyone who does not watch every vlog, I have not moved back to Lagos. Because <laughs> that's turning to be like my most frequently asked question in all my vlogs. I wish I could stay longer. In all honesty, I'm having such a great time. A friend of mine is working here for the whole of Q1. I don't know how she was able to swing that with her company. But yeah, she's here for the whole of Q1. It's just amazing, honestly, like one great thing about COVID is honestly, I feel like lots of companies switch to remote working or flexible working and they all just now realize that you don't really have to be in the office. And I think any company at this point that's like pushing you to still be in the office full time, like unless they never obviously tried to be a remote company during COVID, but the companies that were able to go remote during COVID and be remote during COVID successfully and are now pushing people to go back to the office. Like, I don't really understand the logic behind that. I really don't because you know that you don't have to have an office. So <laughs> why would you take on that expense? A lot of my friends in banking, the way they've explained it to me, it's almost like they have to justify the cost of the rent that they've paid because some of all of these companies had obviously long-term office leases but yeah it's just interesting my company is pretty flexible in that you can go into the office if you want to i know they want people to go into the office more and they're trying to encourage people to go into the office more but it's not mandatory and there's opportunities to where you can work remotely which is what i'm doing at the moment and i'm really grateful for that because i know not all companies are like that i know there's still companies that want people to come in like five days a week you know which is just like i said i don't see the point unless you you know just have like a specific reason why you need to like i really don't see the point i'm just trying to fix my edges guys so yeah, it's already 12.10 and Nuji hasn't even called me. So I think I'm gonna try and put on a little bit of makeup really quickly. something really really fast and simple so yeah let me show you guys my outfit i don't need to put on a little bit of blush i'm just gonna go okay 
Literally like a five minute makeup look. And I'm just gonna put on a little bit of lip gloss in the car. Because I don't wanna keep her waiting. I'm wearing Val de Freak today. So I'm just wearing this set from Pretty Little Thing. My bikini, or my swimsuit rather, is from Primark. And I'm wearing my Orans. I was trying to decide if I wanted to wear white sunglasses or just my regular black Celine's. I think I'm gonna go with the Celine's. And I'm also going to take my hat. All right, let's go. Look at them going off on the quad bikes. You guys, why am I sitting on front? Literally, I don't know. I'm sitting on front of a What do I hold? What do I hold? Hold on to Jesus. Hold here. Hold here. Yeah, yeah. Please, I hope that this is safe. Yeah, please, can we go slowly? Hey, this is the best spot in town. It's really not. So I'm actually very scared. Because he said it's safe. This guy said it's safe. Well, let's go. I'm dressed and ready to go to the gym. I'm actually here to end what may be one of my favorite vlogs in a very, very long time. Actually, that's not, that's a lie. All of the Nigerian vlogs are always special, but this one was extra special. So I figured I need to come on and end it properly. I think the last time I vlogged would have been at the Coco Beach Club. Honestly, all I did all day was lay on the chair and 
chill and talk and catch up with all of my friends and a lot of the conversations are not safe for YouTube. So that's why there's not a lot of footage from the beach club. We ended up leaving on the seven o'clock boat back to Mako and honestly it was a great time. My understanding of Coco Beach Club is that as long as you can get there, you can stay there. Like you can like chill by the beach basically. Um so what they told us yesterday well a couple of days ago when we got there was that the lounge chairs that we were on had a 50,000 naira minimum spend and if you wanted a cabana those had a 200,000 naira minimum spend and I think you could have up to six people in those so it worked out to be about I'll put up conversions on the screen so you have an idea but then I think the biggest cost for people would be if you don't have a boat like like hiring a boat to get there so obviously bear that in mind but all in all the service was astonishingly bad <laughs> i don't know what to say or what to think i have never in my life experienced this kind of service so i didn't get my drink until two and a half hours after i ordered like two to two and a half hours after i ordered my fish didn't come to like pushing three hour mark the service was so bad that eventually when the owners came like around i don't know what time they came maybe four or five some of my friends still hadn't got their food bearing in mind we got there at like two o'clock and ordered our food as soon as we got there they started copying people's bills so people that made like a really big fuss or waited for like up until when the owners came ended up getting their bills comped which is great for them but like i still feel like having waiting for i've been waiting for almost over two hours i should have got some sort of compensation but i didn't like make a big enough fuss about it if i had i probably would have but yeah it was it was shocking i just never seen wait staff so disorganized so confused so out of their element honestly it was very very shocking Having said that, when I posted it on my Instagram, a couple people had mentioned that they had been there before during the week and it was fine. So I don't know if there was just too many people and they were overwhelmed. I do not know. I would still go again because ultimately I had a really, really good time and I thought the setting was beautiful. But my friend was saying literally like, it's the kind of thing where even before we've left, literally while you're still at home, just call them and say, hey, I'm coming, start making the food. And I'm like, I don't think you should have to do all of that. But all in all, like what you get for the amount of money, I think is really good. But yeah, it was just, mm -mm. I want to go again just to get nice pictures because I had already told you guys like I wasn't really feeling my outfit. So I would like to go again with like a really pretty dress and get really nice pictures. That's literally the only reason why I want to go again. I'm just kidding. That's not the reason. But anyway, I'm wearing the basics top that I showed you guys in the beginning of the vlog. It's definitely cropped, as you can see. So I don't know about this, to be honest. Today I'm only doing cardio, so I think it'll be fine for cardio. But uh, I like I don't want to have to deal with that. My leggings are really high waist, which is kind of why I get away with it. But it's annoying. I did want to say thank you to every single person who wished me a happy birthday, who came to celebrate my birthday with me, my mom for organizing the surprise, like all of my friends, even my friends that showed up at Mako and at, uh, what was that other place called? Nova that like bought all the drinks. I found out it was my friend Fumi that organized like the happy birthday if you sign at the club. like. I'm just so grateful, honestly. Everyone that wished me happy birthday on Instagram. It's been such an amazing birthday. I'm so, so, so grateful. Even while I was at the beach club, my friends were still saying, you know, it's still your birthday. Shot, shot, shots. I was able to dodge a couple. <laughs> but yeah, it was great, honestly. It was great. I had a really, really good birthday. It's been so good, honestly, being here. I feel like I say this every single vlog. But yeah, anyway, guys, I wanted to end this vlog here and say thank you guys properly for everything i hope you have enjoyed the vlog if you've made it to the end the best thing you could do for me and for my channel is to give this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and if you aren't subscribed please subscribe please share my channel with someone i have really 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 
big goals for my YouTube channel this year and I need you guys to support me in order to make those dreams come true. Please check out my description box for links to everything that I could possibly link. <laughs> if you're interested in anything that I've worn, shown, mentioned, it'll be in the description box. And by clicking on those links, you're also supporting me and my channel. That is it, you guys. I will see you guys either on Wednesday with a main video or next Sunday with another weekly vlog, God willing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>